In regard to penetration testing, uh, we have um, a general process which is applicable by and large to pretty much any any form of penetration testing whether we are uh, looking at uh, a network a system a, uh, a physical plant um, a an application um, you know whatever it may be um, we are uh, well the, the penetration tester and we if we are running penetration tests ourselves as a penetration team uh, the same type of of process the initial phase is discovery now very roughly we are are getting what information is available this may be open source intelligence um, it, it's what is initially available to us and so what can we what can we get to start to guide our process of, of further examination and further penetration further testing uh, so in the case of a network um, uh, just doing a search uh, you know Google search on you know what's the domain name for this particular company um, what does their public uh, website say about them um, does the domain name give us uh, any indication can we uh, you know try out some basic um, variations on that domain name see if there is a mail server see if there you know if we get a response from uh, something uh, in in the standard you know uh, add mail to the front add admin to the front add uh, accounts <coughs> to the front and and see if we get into the county department um, things like that that are are you know easily identifiable um, on their application does it respond uh, to an attempt to log on uh, what kind of information does that provide us with um, in terms of the response uh, what's the response time that can tell us something about it you know is this uh, something that is taking a while and, and may be protected by some examination um, going on in the background uh, physical plant you know just looking at the place uh, mapping out the uh, what can be seen from across the street um, so you know that's our that's our discovery phase uh, what can we learn uh, initially without really exposing ourselves without really poking and prodding too much in terms of uh, what information can we get um, to guide us to our, our next layer which is going to be enumeration um, using what information we have obtained in the discovery phase and process um, what do we find uh, you know that that's given us some guidance um, let's be more specific let's you know okay we know this particular operating system um, if they haven't applied uh, such and such patch on a regular basis um, it may respond to this particular type of prodding um, what kind of response do we get to that uh, can we can we enumerate uh, this particular operating system? What kind of patch level do we see in terms of, of its response? Um, what, uh, what do we see in, uh, in terms of uh, a uh, standard attempt to uh, log on to the system? with some common uh, passwords or accounts. Um, 
do, do we get an indication that yes, this account exists, um, even if we can't uh, figure out what the password is initially. Um, this, this type of thing, that based on the information that we have obtained in the discovery phase, uh, let's push it a little bit further as we are guided by the information that we have obtained in that first phase. Um, then, uh, vulnerability mapping. We, we know uh, from discovery and enumeration uh, that it is likely to have some vulnerabilities or will possibly have some vulnerabilities in certain areas. So let's map those. Um, let's uh, do uh, a bit of study uh, guided by what we have found already and uh, do a little bit of prodding there to, to see if we can uh, catalog some of the vulnerabilities that this system uh, possibly may have. Um, and having collected more and more information through those phases, then can we exploit this? Can we actually affect a penetration and having affected a penetration, can we enhance that? Can we exploit that further? You know, if we get a toehold in, can we make it a foothold? If we can make it a foothold, can we get increased access? Um, possibly uh, uh, work towards um, installing uh, some kind of tools which may make uh, penetration easier. That point, you know, the, the real um, increased uh, access and that sort of thing, that maybe not be part of uh, the agreement, the contract with regard to a penetration test. So that, you know, may or may not be part of it, but it's all part of the exploitation phase and uh, trying to ensure that we um, uh, understand how far somebody can get, uh, potentially how far somebody can get um, in regard to exploitation and, and actually affecting uh, a penetration.